Hi, this video is for a short tutorial to visualize airline routes network using Gephi. Uh, I'm going to make this network you are looking at. First of all, uh, we need to get uh, data. So if you Google uh, airline data or airport data, you can get some data set. So for your convenience, you can find I uh, write down some information of data in the in the description of this uh, video clip, and also I make um, some simple data set for visualizing this network. So you can use the uh, network. You can use the data set I make I made. Uh, for visualizing network, we need two kinds of data set. One is for nodes, the other one is for edges or links. So let's check. Here, this is node CSV file. So ignore this first one, just this is just numbers. There is one, two, three, four columns in the nodes data set. The first column is airport ID, next one is let latitude, uh, third one is longitude, uh, last one is label, is real name or real airport name. So it's all of the, it, this is good, but if you want to use Gaffy, you need to change this column to just change to ID, just ID. So you, if you change this column name, Gaffy recognized this column is nose ID. So if it, you should change this column name. And as for links data, uh, let's check links. So here, basically, this airline airline <coughs> routes data is direct network so it's from to it means air, or, or an airplane depart from AER airport and it arrive, arrives to arrives KZN airport so it have it, this data set have a direction information this good but or when you when you when you use Gaffy, you need to change this two column name. So in this case, this this one is for source, and this two need to change target. So if you change these two column names, the the Gaffy recognize which one is in degree information which one is out degree information and then let's move to Gaffy so this is Gaffy point nine point one so to visualize network click file and click new project because we need to make a new one and click data laboratory so there are two button one is nodes another one is for edges so first of all let's try import our data for nodes so here import spreadsheet click here and click and we need we have nodes csv file click and this is for, you look at here, it's as table. This is a nose table actually. So we choose nose table and then click next. And here, uh, for latitude and longitude, it's not string. It's not string. So we choose double. This choose double <coughs> and then finish. And let's move to edges. Same import import spreadsheet. This is 
Edge Table, click here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I need, we need first of all link CSV and Edge Table. Yes, and then next. And we don't have to change this one because airline is string. Finish. Yes, and then move to overview. Here we can find some one square. They are in scale having many nodes and links. So we need some different different layout. So Gappy have some some good layout. Look at this. There are some options. Let's try to one of them. For example, force at last two. Run. Stop. So if you want to zoom in and zoom out, this is very very simple. Just using scroll wheel of your mouse. Zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. Like here. Let's look at it. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, this is all of nose and edges are black. Is not so good. So let's try to change color. Here the appearance. We have two button nose and edges. He has nose. So let's check attribute. And uh, there are some attributes. So how about degree? Just click degree. So there's this uh, it's kind of green. If you don't like green, you can have some another options like here. Just choose green and apply. So in this case, the like zoom in, the nose color is green. It's good. And then if you don't, if you want some different size, it's easy. This one is size. Click here and attribute and same degree. So the minimum size is five, maximum size eighty. That's good. Maybe maximum size fifty. How about fifty and apply? Maybe eighty is better. Eighty. Yes, better. So zoom in. Yes. So, so it's a the big uh, nose is they have many degree. It's very small nose has small degree. So next one is move to edgy. Yeah. Mm, as for edges, yeah, so same, click attribute and airline. So we have some airline information. There's so many airline. So how about this one? Let's choose this color. And if you don't like this one, use palette. You can change one. So apply. Yeah, so we have many different color edges here. Go here. Look at here. And if you want adding label, label is here. Just click. You can find the label, but it is not so good because so many nodes and a long label. So I don't. Think so it is so important so no label and if you want to know about some specific uh, nodes like this one for example in this case uh, right click and here select in data laboratory and click and go to data laboratory here the nose name is pvz the real name is Shanghai Putong International Airport. So, it's a, it's, it's a, we can know the, what is this nose name. Node name. And <coughs> here, just click this small button. <coughs> uh, there are some options for global edges, label, 
so you can also zoom using this slide bar yeah and if you don't like this white background click here is black yeah and about if you want to change edges if you change some uh, scale up for edges using this one and scale down yes also label or also you can choose this one is same thing as this button so we don't need edges right now and then yeah yes this uh, network is network visualizing is good but uh, basically this airport or airline routes data set is geographic data so we need map so in this case we can use different different layout this is that is geo layout but for for this one you need uh install geo layout plugin for this one goes to tools and plugin click 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 plugin and then you can find some options also you, you try to find oh uh, just a moment yeah initialize this plugin so click available plugins and you can find uh zero light zero layout and install so for my case already i already installed zero layout plugin and so the first of all we need to choose which column is a latitude which column is longitude uh data set but for for our case we have same name for we have same name of same name column in our data set so we don't have to change this one but if you have different uh column name you need to choose that one for longitude or latitude and run yes uh let me just zoom out yep so we have this kind of <clears throat> network is much better than before and finally finally look at this uh, this menu so first one is contents we have 5626 23 nodes and 72,000 more than 72,000 edges and directed graph and you can find some uh, networks network statistics in here if you want to know average degree just click run and Gaffey provides this graph is typical scale scale free dis distribution and then if you want uh, let's see our average clustering coefficient run directed network click we need some we need some little time yes so we can get 0.27 for average clustering coefficient and there's many options just just run run and you can get some numbers or some graph about for network statistics and go to data laboratory so you can find in some new columns so about columns contain degree information and clustering coefficient or central centrality so so after you run this statistics and then this data will be found in here it's good and move to preview and then we press so you can get you can have this one and you can export this graph that's all thank you